Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where our adventurers just completed their quest by bringing the Prince of Avranches to the King of Stillsby. And now they and Kaka Carl are heading to the Fullstein Tavern to have a rewarding night and fun night after their adventure. Uh, so you walk into this, into this bar and it's just bustling with people. They're of all kinds, really. There are, uh, dwarves, hum, uh, like one other human, some dragonborn, another Arcocra, two tabax tabaxi, a kenku, uh, a couple of goliaths, a few tieflings, lots of elves, and lots of cat elves. Um, I make my way to the bar. Okay. I was gonna say, uh, is there a open table that would fit all of us? Yeah, uh, you notice that a group of patrons is just leaving now, and you think you can snag their table. Back in our server over. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like real life going on. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, grab that table! We've been standing here for 20 minutes, and we haven't been served yet. <laughs> um, I guess we walk over to get the Yeah, so you get the table, and then you, uh, you're beckoning over, uh, server. Wench, come here. <laughs> Uh, so a really old, uh, dwarf <laughs> <laughs> comes uh, just slowly walking to you guys. Hey, my name is Tormund. What can I get for y'all? I'll have a stein, please. I didn't even... <laughs> a stein, stein. stein. We'll edit that out. Redo it. <laughs> I'll have a stein, please. That's not getting edited out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Of course. Uh, any specific beer, like expensive, cheap, mi mid-range? Mid-range ale is fine with me. Sounds good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <That's> true. <laughs> <laughs> and for you guys? I'll have a stein of your finest ale. Sure thing. I'll just have a green tea, please. Of course. I'm at the bar. <laughs> I'm at the bar. you, my tabaxi friend. Oh, you know, I probably just, uh... Just the water. <laughs> Do you have a good look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just the water for me, thank you. Thank you, just the water. Sure thing. And you, he points to, uh, Kaka Carl. Uh, Kaka Carl will just be like, Hoo -hoo, I'll just have a uh, water too, please. And he says, anything else? Any food or anything? I would love some fried fish. I'll bring you some fried fish. Uh, is Haddock. Haddock sounds scrumptious. Great. Anything else? No, well, that sounds great. Okay, I'll be back with your ale soon. And all your other drinks too. <coughs> and he, he just slowly walks back to the bar. And uh, you're at the bar? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a... There's a tiefling with uh, orange skin and mm -hmm. orange uh, at the bar. Just waiting to serve you. Yeah, so, so what can I get for you? Oh, Roy. Um, excuse me, yes. sir. Yeah. Um, can I get you your most medium range bottle of rum? Of course. And he'll, uh, give you an entire bottle of rum. Wonderful. How much? Uh, it'll be, uh, two gold pieces. I fork over two gold. Thank Grab you, the sir. bottle, look around, and see if I can see my companions anywhere. Yeah, you see them at a table. Uh, and there just happens over. to be one more chair. Wow! Oh, yeah. I, make, <laughs> I make my way over to catch that chair. Okay. And just as you're about to sit down, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you see a gnome grab the chair and sit down. And Damn like, gnomes! Hey y'all! What Go are you guys away. doing here? I didn't recognize you guys. Go away! You're not a regular chair, are you? We don't want you to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not very nice, are you? No! I want to tower over him from behind. <laughs> that was our friend C. And then he looks behind him, behind him and he sees you like three or four feet taller than him and he's like, Well, I'll be going now. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see ya. Yeah, I sit down, slam yeah. the bottle <laughs> on the table, open it up. The people in this place. <laughs> Think that's enough rum? Oh, it's just enough for me. Uh, so, and... <laughs> What's your problem, Zach? <laughs> 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 
So the old man just slowly makes his way back with all of your drinks and says your fish will come in a few minutes and then returns to the kitchen. Uh, and then Kakiharu will say, Let's cheers to the successful adventure. I, yeah, and I'll lift up my bottle and cheers. Do cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> to Cochrane. I lift up my, my teacup. <laughs> to Cochrane. Yes. To a job well done. And then he takes a swig of his Well, wow, was it really well I start done? taking a big swig of mine. I just kind of hold it for a few seconds. Okay. I'm more classified as just done, as more than well done. It was good enough. <laughs> I can see why you're such an esteemed member of the King's God, Kicker Carl. <laughs> uh, so anyway, are you guys wanting to leave tomorrow? I yeah, back to our branches. I'd rather not stick around. Okay, sounds good. Stiltsby seems like a dangerous place. It definitely isn't the safest. Like I was, I wasn't too happy about who, who the king sending his son here, but it had to happen. You couldn't have sent the daughter to Evranches. I wish we had discussed that, and we just couldn't make a deal to allow that to happen. Who, who. Law part is done. It's no longer our problem. Exactly. Right. Now drinking's our problem. Famous last words! <laughs> <laughs> Don't raise any bad flags. <laughs> Don't jinx us. I'm just gonna continue drinking and drinking okay. the bottle down. Please don't get too drunk. Uh, just, uh, just around the bar, you, there's still, like, people, a couple of people performing at the bar. One of them is a, one of them is a Kenku, and the other is a Dwarf. One is playing bagpipes and the other is singing. <laughs> and playing guitar alone as well. Cool. And they're doing decently, but because it's bagpipes, it's not the greatest sounding thing. Bagpipes and singing usually don't mesh. And you see, you also see around the bar there are a few people playing poker, a few just laughing, and then there's also one guy in a far corner just all alone. And mm. just drinking a straight to himself and uh so what are you all going to do then i'm content just having my ale i don't anyone actually have any plans after i'm finished this fish i'm probably gonna go for a walk like i intended earlier until you peer pressured me into coming here (laughs) fair enough (laughs) at least you're here for a little bit i'm just here to pass the time it's gonna be an eventful episode (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of that, is my fish almost done? Yeah, so you see uh, the old dwarf just slowly make his way back, and he's made sure to put, uh, put his beard o- over his shoulder so it doesn't get into the food as he carries it. A kindly fellow. <laughs> and eventually he finally makes his way to the table and sets in front of you and says, Hope you enjoy this. It's one of our most popular dishes here. Being we're one of the major seaports in Tokania. Interesting. Thank you so much. And I'll start eating my fish, I guess. I wouldn't trust it. It smells fishy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, clever. Well played. Uh, I ignore him. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, she gets poisoned. I eat my fish. Okay. Uh, Can you roll a constitution check? (laughs) Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, How are you drinking through your mask? There's a straw. He's got like five straws going <laughs> on. <and just. laughs> oh boy. Hey, hey. Oh, saving throw. Hold on. Yeah, eight. Eight? Nope, nope. No, I'm around ten. After two. about a third of the bottle, you're starting to get really <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Wonderful. You're not like puking level drunk yet, but. You're kind of swaying in your seat a little bit, and your eyes are kind of... Yeah, not as focused as I normal. <clears throat> Someone likes the liquid courage, huh? <laughs> oh, I feel great now. This night's going to be fantastic. <laughs> <sighs> Let's just hope it goes better than our day. Right well, you are. What are you doing, Aaron, though? I'm just going to sip my green tea and uh, take some notes in my journal. Romantic. <laughs> I'm going to drink the rest of my stein and then look around for, like, a quest board. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, you gonna... find a bulletin board at the like near the door of the bar, and there are a few uh, post-its on there. Uh, one of them just says, "Find my son." <laughs> <laughs> I, I skip over that one. And it, it has an address in Silsby as well for more information. Uh, another one says, "Help a good cause," and says, "Big reward." Like in really eye catching print, and then uh, it says, "Meet at meet behind behind the out and in," and okay. then a third one says, "Need protection," and has an address. Well, clearly we're not good at that. So, Blaze <laughs> <laughs> uh, will walk up, holding his plate in one hand and the fork in the other, just munching. Uh, he stands next to. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. He stands Lazarus. next to Lazarus and goes, Looks fun! Uh, you gonna do one of those? Some of them might be worth my wire. while. Oh. I'm gonna snatch the second one and pull it in my pocket. Okay. Ooh, good pick, good pick. Seems fishy, but says it has a big reward. You're full of fish jokes. <laughs> 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 and Blaze will walk off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'll go check out the quest board as well. Okay. Because uh, what was the first quest again? The first one was find my son. All right. Well, I am obligated to take this quest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know we're leaving in the morning. Well, not necessarily now. Things change. Well, I'm leaving in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have no reason to stay together now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to poker table. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what is the sorry? What does the uh, quest say? Like the, the the paper. Uh, it says, uh, "Please come to this address for more okay. information." Okay. And uh, you're going to poker table. Yep. The rest okay. of my box. <laughs> What's the other one saying? Meet behind. Uh, meet behind the uh out and in. Out. Well, we're going there. Anyway. Out and in. So it's like the O U T. Yeah. A N D space in. Like that, that's where we're staying today, yeah. anyway, so. Uh, so, you do find an empty space at a table where people are playing poker, and one there's one goth playing one half-elf, a gnome, and two dwarves. Okay, I take a seat down at the okay. table. Don't mind if I join, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. If I'm joining, we're just starting a new game. <clears throat> Right, this should be exciting. Uh, it'll be five gold to start out. I'm tossing five gold. Okay. And, uh, I'll just have you roll, like, three performance checks to see how you do. And are you still drinking more rum while you play? Well, as I'm playing, I'm sipping it. Okay, so not as much as Yeah, before. not as okay. much as all. Okay. Three? I don't know what that is. Okay, that's 14. Uh, plus. So that's 17. Nine. <laughs> and then five. Yeah, so for the first while, you actually end up doing really well at the table. But then after that, you've had a few too many drinks because you did <laughs> chug an entire like third of a bottle of rum. And then yeah. you're still drinking a bit after. So after that, you're only doing all right. Then after that, you <laughs> just plummet. You plummet and are beat out. Oh, dear. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I'm glad I played poker. So all that time. We're happening. glad you played poker, too. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of pass some of them on the back yeah. and get up from my seat and go find. Uh, and then uh, uh, you're still with Tucker Carl, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just sitting at the table. I'm just, like, taking some notes and sipping on my tea. Yeah, so he'll say to you, I thought of something earlier. Uh, since Travis Daw is one of them who runs the Diamond Exchange... I'm assuming he has a big hand in the diamond industry. And since Hoot Hoot, his ancestors created the resurrection spells, I think there might be something fishy going on there. He might be charging whatever he feels like for diamonds, because he knows he has a market that he can just do whatever he wants with Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I, I would agree as well. Um, seems definitely... Seems like he's definitely up to something. Not only because he controls the uh, the price of what she sells diamonds at, but 
Yeah, uh, since he had, since his ancestors have the um, are related to the whole uh, creation of the of these spells. Yeah, it, it seems like he's definitely controlling the market for it. But I, I, I don't think there's much that we can do to change anything here. It's quite a shame. Yeah, pretty much is. Uh, damn Republicans! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to you. Uh, you. Or, uh, I should say who I'm talking to, please, and Lazarus. Uh, by now I've made my ba- my way back to the bar and ordered another stein. Okay. Just kind of sitting there, sipping it, watching the people go about their business. Uh, you do notice... I roll up for something check, actually. I got five. Uh, you don't notice too much out of the ordinary. You do notice that Kind of shady looking guy in the one corner, but that's real. I go on. <laughs> Not uh, my problem. I'm gonna finish my, my, uh, my fish, yeah. uh, and I will return to the bar to pay. Okay. And then I will depart. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go for my walk. Yeah. Uh, it'll be five silver pieces. How much is that in gold pieces? Uh, half a gold piece. So, I totally spent. Two and a half gold pieces? No, you spent half you a spent gold piece. You spent half a gold piece. Oh! So we have the silver piece. Yeah. It's 39 silver. Okay. Math isn't real. <laughs> Tip your bartender. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then you leave the bar? Yeah, I leave. Okay. I took pull out my notebook and I just kind of wander around, just jotting down, like, stuff that happened during the day. Okay. And then, uh, just like, uh, Make a future to do list, which involves going to Avranches, uh, getting a new book, finishing my new book, uh, just stuff like that. Okay. Is there anywhere specific you would be walking to? Probably the gate. The gate? Yeah, just making my way up towards the gate. Like the gate to the castle or the gate to the city? The city. city. Okay. City entrance. Okay. Not leaving, but just. Yeah, so as you walk there, you just see a few people on the streets. Some are drunk, some. And stuff like that. Uh, you do see one guy just lying at the side of the road. Uh, I'll approach. And I'll be like, uh, not a really, uh, good place to take a nap, my friend. Uh, you find him unconscious. Oh! Okay. Uh, I'll leave him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he seems fine to me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> wonder what happened to him. And then. Not my business. Uh, you get almost get the gate to the gates, and you do s- see a purple horned and purple skinned tiefling with a handlebar mustache. Oh, oh. I will approach, and I'll be like, uh, I have, I, "Have I seen you somewhere before? I believe I've seen you somewhere before." He says, "No, I don't think so. No, no, I'm actually almost one hundred percent certain that I've seen you before." <laughs> Maybe. Randall? No, no, you're the creepy dude <laughs> who was standing beside a uh, house watching me. Yeah, we're not skirting around this one. Yeah, I don't think that you saw that. No, no, I once again, 100% certain I saw you. <laughs> and he's gonna try to, uh, run away. This is how you get killed. <laughs> he's he's gonna gonna run away. Yeah, but you have good sights on him, so. Okay, well, I, how far away did he get? Uh, like, he's like 30 feet away. Trying to cool, I have 40 feet okay. speed, so I'm gonna rush up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and push him over. Okay. Just like a strength check, right? Yep. Oh, now he's getting some action. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 16, uh, no, sorry, 14. Uh, you push him, he doesn't fall over, though. Oh, and I say, listen, man, you better not run! Uh, First and then we'll cast our mention door and nice. go away. There's no way I can, like, prevent it? No. No? I'll remember you! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go back to anyone else who wants to. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll something. make my way back to the table. And, okay. uh, just sit down. Gentlemen, I suck at poker. <laughs> <laughs> you did drink most of a bottle of rum. That might have had an effect <laughs> on the situation. <laughs> Alright, so by now I'm probably on like my third or fourth stein of. Yeah. Ryan's ale. Um, uh, so then, 
We all notice that guy in the corner, right? Yeah. So then I'll go and I'll order like one more stein for me, and I'll get another one, and I'll go and I'll approach him. Okay. And I'll sit down, and I'll smack the beer in front of him, like, Greetings, friend. It's a sorry sight to see a man sitting alone, surrounded by people. I'm just sitting alone by choice. <laughs> oh, all right. That's, what's your name? My, my name is Tarth. Tarth? Uh, what brings you to this city? Uh, I've been living here for years. You gotta throw me a bone, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's like, uh, <laughs> he's supposed to be a, like an awkward dude. Oh, but... Yeah, that's fine. I just. So why? <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that in character. <laughs> throw me a bone, Ian. <laughs> I guess I could have done that. I don't recognize you. Yeah, no, I'm just a just an adventurer. We're just coming to the city for a for a spot of work, and uh, we'll be making our way out of here soon. But uh, kind of a sketchy so. little town, isn't it? Very much so. Yeah. Say, yeah, uh, you wouldn't happen to know a man named Shavita, would you? He kind of looks at you like, uh, read with surprise and with, like, kind, uh, really nervous. Mm-hmm. And he's like, uh, why do you ask? Oh, I just met him earlier and, uh, I was wondering how, uh, valuable of a business contact he would be. Uh,. Depends on what you think as valuable. Like, do you value your, your life's your life? <laughs> well, I would think so, yes. Then, uh, he can be good or bad, I guess. So it's, uh, More often bad, but... So safe to say you're not, uh, on friendly terms with him. He kind of looks around, just makes sure there's no one listening, and he's like, Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I screwed up, and I need I need help from some adventures. I need to get my family and myself out of this town without being seen. Oh, all right. Is that a fact? All right. Um, would you be able to help? Well, I'd be all for it. I'll. Uh, I'm not so sure about my companions because they're all kind of sticks in the mud. But uh, <laughs> I'll run it past them. I uh, I won't ask any questions, but uh. I get the feeling that this Shabba Dog guy is bad news, so I wouldn't want you to be, uh, you know, murdered horribly or something like that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually what would probably happen tomorrow or yeah. something. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, come on over and you can meet the rest of the party. And <laughs> 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 Thanks. And he'll kind of follow you to the table. Don't forget your ale. <laughs> yeah, he'll take the ale and say thanks for the ale. I made a friend. <laughs> 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 He'll just say hello to everyone and introduce himself. Alright, so, uh. What's, what's his name? Did I say what his name was? Tarth, right? Yeah, yeah Tarth. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Nice to, nice to meet you, Tarth. I, I'm Arendelle. I go to shake his hand. He shakes him and says, It's great to meet you. I hear you guys are great adventurers. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say great, but. Some yeah. might say, some might not. You've heard correct. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's just, uh, as it so happens, we'll, uh, making our way after the city tomorrow, or the day after, and, uh, making our way down to, um. Avranches. Avranches. I'm making our way to Avranches, so, um. We have a wagon, so we could probably try to smuggle you and your family out. Oh, no, 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 no. We already took one of those jobs. We're not taking another one. No, we're going to do this. <laughs> Why are we going to do this? I think we should. It's the right thing to do. People are dangerous. Back me up, Ail Rendell. All, all I need is to get past the gates. Do you like dying? No, that's why I need to get out of the city. Do you like dying and being brought back? I. I'm it's a possibility. Well, we don't have any gold left. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to waste it on this guy. <laughs> Tell me. Back yeah. me up, Tony. How important are you in Come on. status-wise? Uh, I'm pretty much just a commoner. Uh, I I had to do some work for Shavit Daw, but Ugh. he kind of looks behind him and around the bar. Shut it down. But it didn't work out, and that's why I need to leave. Okay, you're telling me we're going to be mixed up in Shavado's business if we take this man. We're all right. Mixed up in Shavado's business. We bought diamonds from him. Yeah, we bought but diamonds. We haven't done anything us. wrong yet. We take this man. We're probably on his bad list. This guy if needs our help. you're seen taking me. And we won't. 
Just throw a blank over them in the carton. <laughs> Home free. <laughs> <laughs> The guards do search carts coming in and leaving town. They didn't search our cart coming in. Tell me. That is because you had the... Because Car- 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 Carl. Yeah, and uh, we had the prince. Tell me, to yes. How much gold do you have? <clears throat> um, I don't work for free. Yeah, I I can Each give you guys person. 50 oh, gold pieces. 50 gold, gold pieces. pieces. That's more than enough. We don't. Yeah, we don't I suppose need I can swing fifty gold pieces. Thank you so much. Anything to help him person out. Not you listen to every word we say. I will. Do you have any kids? Uh, one kid. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife too. It's very important you listen to what we say. You step out of line once, we will boot you off the wagon. Of course, I understand. We're fine. I'm fine with it. All right. So then, um. I will have no problem. The only person we have left to consult, I guess, Come would on, be man. Blaze. But he's kind of walking. I'm sure. I'm sure Blaze will be fine with it. What's your alignment? Um. Oh, Blaze. Uh, you <laughs> no, no. You, <laughs> what's your alignment in real life? <laughs> uh, no, he's uh, neutral. Uh, he's chaotic neutral. He okay. just does what he wants. All right. Interesting. Huh. Sorry. No. Uh, sorry. Uh. Chaotic. I I kind of want to say I, I want to say neutral. He's not really a good person. So yeah, no chaotic okay. neutral. I think originally it was uh, a chaotic good, but he just doesn't care. He just does what he wants. And Tuck and Carl will say, "Hoot hoot, I'm good at this too." All right, oh, right about him. No, <laughs> <laughs> no one asked him. No, I have to do this. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna yeah. have work to do tomorrow. Now I'm gonna grab my bottle and slam it on someone else's table. Just yeah. leave it there. Okay, <laughs> here you go. I'm done. <laughs> uh, and Tarth will say, meet me at this address in uh, whenever you're about to leave. Cool. Like, when are you planning on leaving? Probably tomorrow. Early morning, I would suggest. Mm. But now that we got quests, this guy coming with us, yeah. we do have to be Maybe cautious. We need a game plan. Maybe leaving the night would be better to get through town. Yeah, but even during the day, there's all the bright sunlight and everything. Ugh. Um, originally, yeah, leaving the day would have been good, but I yeah. think now we should take off during the night. Okay, well, I kind of want tomorrow to do that quest anyway, so works for me. If we can find a way to leave the city, not through the gates, that would work even better. Yeah, so we have smuggle. We might have to leave the car behind, depending. Oh, well, we can still have the people on the car go through the gates, but... Oh, yeah, okay. We find another route for them to go through. Oh, yeah. Send one or two of us as protection. Uh, fair and roll an inside check, please. Ooh. Oh, fine. <laughs> Maybe if this guy... Since you worked for, um... Shavada... Maybe he knows a way in that city, because obviously the diamonds don't go through the front gate. Oh, Jesus. Five. <laughs> <laughs> How it's time to <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you know that there are underground tunnels. You don't know if any of them leave the city or if there are any other ways out of the city, though. I do have an understanding that there are some underground tunnels through the city, but I have no idea where they lead. Which ones go out, which ones go in, no idea. Well, it's worth a chance. But it's something, yes. Yeah. Maybe we could find someone else who's been here longer than I know. Obviously not Shadow Daw. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know though that he's been like that he grew up there though? I think so because I think he's mentioned it. Uh, man, it'd be nice if we knew someone who just knew a lot about the history <laughs> of the town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just if only our party had stayed together. <laughs> Look, we could speak to Blaze about this. He'd probably know. Why. Maybe at three, Blaze seems to know a lot of things. Go to paintings. Maybe we should go talk to Cocker. You might know a lot about the town. We <laughs> 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 have to go talk to the kids. <laughs> and if Blaze turns out to not know anything, I think we're on good word with the king. And then Hearth will say, the king may be bought out by uh, Shavit Daw. Oh, well, Are you telling me the king's me. corrupted? Shavit has deep pockets, and a lot of blood is paid off. You think that king. boy's in trouble then? Some of the guards mm-hmm. even are... His own. Ugh. Blaze is our best bet now. 
Yeah, I guess finding these tunnels. Yeah, we'll have to go find Blaze now. Thanks for walking off, man. Well, now we want to be Blaze's friend. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody doesn't like you. We're just kind of mad that you drew a paint. You painted a picture of the. I'm dead not mad kids. at him at all. I just I feel bad because I, I didn't realize it was in his sense. notebook. I wasn't mad. I just I have no issue with Blaze. I was didn't want mad. It. I just didn't want to get noticed or anything. So the good news is that's exactly where Blaze would go is back to the tavern because after seeing that guy. Uh, he acted real shady, and then he dimension doored. So the first thing Blaze is gonna do is like book it back. Like, okay. <laughs> you might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Slabs open the door. All you hear is just like from outside the bar, which is like, man, yeah. we need to talk to Blaze. You just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and you're like just quietly from outside. Guys, guys, guys! <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, the door slams open, rocks yeah. and he's like, slight, slight problem. Uh. I ran into the purple-skinned guy, uh, tried to, I guess that's a wee aggressive, but, uh, no, I asked him what was up, and he acted real shady, uh, he tried to run away, and then he dimensioned or and I'm almost, um, 100% certain he works for Shabada. probably went to go tell on me, <laughs> I, I really need to leave. <laughs> Todd, uh, well, I you're in luck. Do you about? know anyone that fits the description of a purple-skinned horned man with a handlebar mustache? <laughs> I do. He is a, he is definitely a spy for Shavadaw, and he's one of his <laughs> main people in the black market. There you go. I like this guy. By the way, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Tarth. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what... Uh, your friends were talking about helping me escape the city. Oh, good idea, guys. Let's pick on another quest. <laughs> yeah. uh, Blaze. Yeah. Do we really have time to take By care of this guy's problems? Well, we're Blaze. leaving the city anyway. I guess so. Do you know the underground tunnels? Yeah. All right, we need... We're going to smuggle them out through the tunnels. How well would I know? Uh, roll out history. How well would you know? With the damage. Advantage? Advantage? You tell us. <laughs> Uh, so that would have been a 27. Yeah. Holy shit balls. And that is a 19, so I'll take a 27. <laughs> yeah, you, you know them pretty well. You've, like, you've traversed them a few times, you know that. And you do know that there is one tunnel that is pretty much abandoned that leaves the city. So you've probably, uh, taken that way out a few times. I'd probably yeah. investigate that because of, like, historical significance. Yeah. So, there are a few options. Uh, we'll still need to proceed with caution, because Shavada, he's a pretty uh, slinky fellow. He's been here a long time. I'm sure he has, he knows about the tunnels as well. Uh, luckily, we didn't start to... Oh, wait. Yes, I did. I just started something. Uh, <laughs> we should probably leave either tonight or now. probably tonight. <laughs> oh, boy. I'd rather not stick around. Personally. But you should go ahead to scout the place. No, we should just leave. Look, well, we need a game plan, but they're not. So some of us take the cart, the wagon, look nonchalant going through, but a few of us going to go with the Toth and his family. Through the whoa, 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 Family? Yes, he yeah, has a child and a wife. Child. Oh, I, we're really making this, like, from a medium-level quest to a hard-level quest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that bad. We just have to get them out of the city. Okay, fine. Well, Toth, you're with me. We're going through the tunnels. Okay. Uh, can I grab my wife and child first? Sure. No. <laughs> just, like, not leave nah. them. <laughs> <Just, laughs> where, where, where about to your house? Uh, it's about, uh, seven blocks away to the north. Perfect. That's, well, I'll come with you then, and it's faster if we just go that way, because we're a little more north, that's where we get to the top. just take best not be seen with me. Because that could put a target on your back. Cool, you leave five minutes, I'll come after. But it's also minutes. dangerous for you to go alone as well. It is, but I don't want to bring danger to other peop- more other people. Look, Toth, we're here to protect you and your family. Danger's going to come our way regardless. Point is, we need you not to die. I don't want to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go with him. I'll you go. go with him. Okay. You like the kid. I, I figured uh, you would be really invested in this one. I didn't say I wouldn't go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd be more than welcome to go. I would prefer... I only take one. The less people... The better when it comes to sneaking. Um, so would the gate, like the city gate, be closed for the night? Or yeah, would we be- but there would be guards at the gates in order to okay. open them if need be. Okay. Well, you guys just better come up with a good story on how to get the cart out of the city in the middle of the night. I suppose you could probably take one through the tunnels. I have a question. How fast are you? <laughs> I'm, just one I'm about 25. <laughs> 
That might be problematic. Uh, well, um, I guess it it should be fine. I mean, speed well, is key when okay. it comes to being stealthy. Practicality wise, maybe better for Aelrindel to go because I have disadvantage on stealth because I'm wearing like chainmail armor. You're a bit of a charmer. Uh, you 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 should stay in the cart. Sw- uh, swoon those guards. <laughs> Negative one charisma. <laughs> I have the charisma here. Yeah, <laughs> he can do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll take uh, Aelrindel. Aelrindel, I'm counting on you and you, Blaze. <laughs> yeah. I haven't let you down yet, have I? Alright, so we're gonna take. <laughs> we're going to like a day and a half. Alright, so recap. We're gonna take one through the tunnel, like Blaze wants, and then the other two we can try and smuggle through the cart, and I can try no. and charm the gods. I have to I'm just gonna take that whole family tunnel. down there. Okay. And they're gonna take the cart through the top. Alright. So that way, fine. when Sheva does looking for us, he'll see the cart, a few of us, he'll be like, they're in the car, and uh, we'll actually be underground. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Toth, if you have any valuables, make sure you grab them while you're there. I will. We can smuggle into the car. Great. Do you have any books? <laughs> uh, I have a few, not all that many. Adventurers <laughs> don't travel for free. <laughs> I am paying you guys 50 gold pieces. Uh, I don't care about money. We know. Bring a few. Of your I books do like crepes. And let me tell you, <laughs> eight different types. Let me tell you about crepes. <laughs> Actually, I re- I'm more of a pancake kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he'll go back to his house in order to get his wife and child, and then he can like follow. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll follow a few minutes after. Yeah. Keep it quiet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll make a quick little break for it, I suppose. Where is Kipikaro at this point? He's still at the table. Okay. <laughs> Probably go get <laughs> right. Well, um, I guess he'd be, like, well, with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um. So if we're leaving right now, obviously I don't have to do that quest I picked up in the bar. So, uh... Ryan would you would really have time anyway before? Well, <laughs> if we were just going to leave the next night, I would have had all the next day to do it. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, we're probably leaving tonight. <laughs> Ryan isn't very pleased about it. Um, obviously, he really wanted to help this kid, like help my son. Um, but uh, do you uh, seem trouble? He accepts that he can't do anything at the moment, so he will go back and like repost the sign okay. on those quest boards, so somebody else can hopefully take care of it. I'll keep in mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Also, memorize the address just yeah. in case we come back to Stillsby. Yeah. All right. Um, we're leaving now, then I suppose. Yes. Alright, I'll go prep the wagon. Okay. Yeah, uh, you prep the wagon, you, you make your way to Hearth's house, he brings out some belongings, and he, uh, his wife and kid come out, and they'll do whatever you ask in order to get out. Alright. Um, the treasure's in the back hall, then. Tell them that. <laughs> I'm not with them. Oh. Has a, like, oh, yeah, that's right, them. they're still with these yeah. guys. Yeah, uh... Lucky day! Uh, <laughs> and I open up the bag and I say, slide all in here. Okay, they'll put the, put whatever goods they have in there. And the kid? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Timmy! <laughs> uh, so you know that the passageway out is uh, on the east side of town and that uh, it does, it goes under, there's a certain section just behind hidden in some bushes that goes down and will end up in the docks. All right. And well, then, like, up above the docks is, like, a overhanging cliff that we can traverse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, Blaze, uh, lead the way. All right, I will lead, uh, lead the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 remember, keep your hoods up, keep down, uh, try not to talk uh, until we make it out. They just nod their heads and just like, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, uh, I flip my, I put my hood over my head and I have, um, my, my hand just, ca- like, my left hand just on my, um, handle of my sword. Just, like, okay. kind of at the ready in case someone, like, someone comes charging us or something. I can whip it out. Okay. Yeah, we are going to sneak our way to the entrance. Okay. Uh, just roll self checks, please. Come on, fighter, you got this. I have a good stealth, actually. Dirty 20. Dirty okay. uh, Dirty 20 as well. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you guys are really stealthy as you're moving through the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you are able to get all the way to that 
a hidden passageway. Okay, uh, I'm gonna open the entryway and I'll usher everyone in, in front of me. Okay. <laughs> I say, uh, Aelio, you lead the way, I'll take the, the rear. Alright, I'll, I... I'll give directions as we go. Yeah, I go in first and then, um... So, uh, is it just like... How how are we entering in through? Is it? Uh, like... It's like a trap door. Oh, okay. So, so uh, you're going down, and then it'll angle downwards towards the. Okay, so I just go in and I just like help okay. them through and yeah. and uh, make sure to, like keep an eye out down as they come in and everything. Yeah, uh, I enter the last one through. Yeah, I slip in and I I pull it down, but before I do, I kind of push it open a little bit and peek outside to see if anyone's following us. Tell again. Uh, you do see uh two people. Uh, one on each side, one to the left, one to the right, uh, with their weapons drawn and looking ready to fight. Uh, I close the shaft really quickly, and is there any way I can lock it? I uh, have... I don't really have much. No. Unless you have something in your inventory, probably not. Moldorth. <laughs> great, yeah. No, I don't have Moldorth. Very anymore. small hill over it. Ah... <laughs> uh, the guy's yeah. real doing cool. One thing I have is hemp and rope, and I don't want to use that up. Well, it's pretty easy to come by, and we all have hemp and rope. Yeah, okay. yeah I'll use hemp and rope <coughs> to uh, tie the entrance. I'll drag it back, and I'll tie it around. Uh, like, what kind of tunnel is it? Is it a rocky tunnel? Is it like a yeah, tree it's tunnel? It's rocky. Rocky? Okay, I'll tree. tie it around a rock. Uh, I'll put it down, and then I'll stack other rocks on top to okay. make sure it's nice and heavy. Yeah. And I turn and I say, Good news. I locked the door. <laughs> Bad news, I had to lock the door. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you start to make your way, you do hear like them trying to open the the trap door, and you hear the rocks begin to like fall away from where it's tied down. Yeah. Uh, All right, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Um, Come on, everybody. Are um, you going to take the lead, just so you know the yeah, way? Yeah, I'll take okay. the lead. And, and then, then I'll, be the, I'll be at the back. Yeah. Then. There's a good chance they don't know the tunnels like I do. So I need to miss every no, single time. No, this is getting there intense. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is growing. But yeah, I take hold of uh, the kid's hand, and I just like, basically I hoist them up and I throw them on my back. Because <laughs> I don't really want them to slow us down. <laughs> oh. It's always the kids. Yeah. Damn it, to me. <laughs> Fucking kids. Uh, so yeah, this tunnel ends... At the edge of a cliff, and then you would have to either, uh, like, rappel down or jump into the ocean. Come on, Timmy, you're going first. I have a 20 feet climbing speed. Can I just climb up? Uh, you, you could either climb, yeah, I didn't think this too. Uh, <laughs> it'd be climbing down oh, towards okay. a rocky base. What I assumed was like, it was like, originally I assumed we'd come out and be like, cliff face, and there's like a small path, like, leading up into like the. Oh, okay. I didn't think that one through, so we yeah, both didn't and, think and that And then, one like, the. A uh, cliff roof that goes over the harbor is okay. over top. Well, as we're running, then I, I turn to Tarth and I say, "How are you with swimming?" Uh, I'm all right. And how are you with heights? I've, I've taught my kid and my wife knows how to swim. Yeah, really. And are you guys scared of heights? So <laughs> Pardon? Are you scared of heights? Uh, I'm not, but my kid is. Well, you better. Uh... I, I can deal with him. Okay. Because, uh, I don't know if you can really put two and two together here, but yeah, we're going to have to jump I, off the I cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can put two and six together, but... <laughs> but math isn't real, so... <laughs> yeah. And uh, then you hear the trap door open. Okay, but we're long gone, so... Uh, it's not a long, a super long pass rate. It's just, it's about, like, 500 hundred feet or so. Is it, like, just a straight... Like, thing? angle downwards, though. Angle downwards? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, how, how we got far is the jump from the, like, from where we are into the water? It's about, uh, I'd say 30 feet down. Um, <laughs> like, we have some good distance between us and the pursuers. Uh, there's no other, like, turns leading off or anything, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, then, uh... So, if you guys want to yeah. jump down, and then I'll jump down last, and I'll like make sure that yeah. they don't get too close. Uh, shoot a couple hands. Yeah. So yeah. we'll. I guess. Uh, Just is, is, it, is this like a cave mouth opening to yeah. the cliff? Okay. Uh, I turn to the kid and I'm like, uh, close your eyes, <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump off the cliff. <laughs> oh yeah, the kid's on your back, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Should be fine. Uh, the kid just screams as this is happening. Yeah. Well, and fair. then you Fell land, cliff. you land like safely in the water. Yeah, uh, and I'll immediately start swimming towards shore. Okay. I usher, what was it tar- tires? Yeah, tires. I usher tires and his wife 
to jump off <laughs> into yeah. the water, and I like I'm looking back through the path. Um, do, am I able to see the the two guys? Uh, yeah, or they're come? getting. Uh, they're starting. They're in sight. Okay. Yeah. Um. So they jump off. Or yeah, they hold hands and jump off. Oh, cute. Together. That is very cute. Oh no, if they die, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's sad. <laughs> Uh, so at this point, I look back, and I, like, they're still, like, running and approaching. Yep. Um, I'm going to... Is there anything I can do before I jump off? Um... Just jump. Put your head between your legs. <laughs> Keep your legs straight when you hit the water. Um... Do you have any... You're not magic user yet. No. Most of my magic is just for fighting. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna jump off. Uh, you jump off, and... Can I, like, do... Can I, be like, be facing them, and then, like, yep. do, like, an epic, like, not backflip, or maybe just, like, kind of fall back gracefully? Ooh, just roll an athletic check. It's, like, Graceful. very... Yeah. I like it. So no, it's no flourish. Uh, roll what? Acrobatic. Yeah, athletic. Acrobatics. Oh. oh, acrobatics. Okay, that's a 12. Uh, <laughs> you... You did all right. It, it definitely doesn't look graceful, but yeah, it, it works. Come on. <laughs> Starts like crawling like, back to our game spoon and also <laughs> like, a rock and he's like, wait, I'm actually falling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. <laughs> and, and you do hit the water kind of hard because of how you like how you jumped. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, but I would have like flipped around and like went oh, and laid oh, down. Oh, okay. Like it's yeah. supposed to be kind of like just like I fall back and of course I'm not okay. just gonna land on my back. I'd be dead. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah. 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 You take like very like a yeah. 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 Yeah, so uh, uh, it face. does hurt a little bit when you hit the water, but you don't take any like damage. Okay. Would I have made sure by then? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I will pull out the the other three. Okay. And you, as you, as you look up from the water, and as you look up from the, the rocky ledge, you see the two people in the cave, and they both have arrows drawn and are aiming at you guys. Someone put up a um, shield. Uh, I, because I'm in the water, right? I haven't made it to the shore. Yeah. I immediately go underwater. Okay. And Good. swim, like, just under the water a bit and towards yeah. the shore. They're pretty far off, though, right? 30 feet. 30 feet. They're 30 yeah, feet up? Yeah. yeah, it's 30 well, feet Well, I mean, I had to so. swim to shore. How far was shore from And they have a height off? advantage, that too. Very far from Okay. Shore. Well, I was on a cliff. Obviously, I'm going to turn and cover the kid with my body. Uh, none of the arrows hit. Okay, well, I turn and I whip two of my darts up at them. Okay, uh, roll. So that is a 25. Yeah, you hit. And a 10. You miss. Okay. One takes five damage up to the first one. Then I just hit one of them, and then I turn, I pick up the kid, and I, I run. Um, do I, so do I, uh, make it to shore yeah, finally? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, I, as I come out of the water, um, I'm gonna pull out my longbow and an arrow. And I'm gonna shoot an arrow at one of them. Okay, roll good. Um, so that'd be plus dexterity and proficiency, right? Yep. Um, that is a twenty-three. So that's yeah, you hit first time. Yeah, Ooh. boy, <laughs> this fight is actually good. This, some. this feels good. Uh, so it one like a one in damage. Uh, seven for damage. Just plus a bigger yeah, one. Oh, plus my like, next suck. You have like right in the shoulder, and he kind of just falls back a little bit, but uh, is still in the cave. Alright, um, would I be able to shoot another arrow at the other one, or uh, wouldn't they? Probably not. Okay. Because now, like, now they they realize that the family has gotten away. Alright, um, so after I do that, I just, I put my bow back, and I run after him and the family. Okay, I'll go back to you, you guys. Success! Nice. Nice. Uh, so you are just taking the cart to the gates? Yeah, so we'll just go back to the in and out. Okay. Out and in. Um, and I guess... Oh, well... Was no, it, I no, we had our cart anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so we'll just go to Gates then. Yeah, okay. I'll just... Uh, as you're going past through the town, you do see... Good news is we shouldn't have any trouble getting out. You do see a couple... Two people unconscious on the ground. With wounds. Looks like they were hit what by the cart like recently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got a wheel track over their face. Uh, they seem to be, like, stab wounds, as oh. if, like, a bandit had just come to and so on from them. Okay. Still speaks a lot darker than we thought. Um, well. I'll be happy to leave this place. 
Well, uh, I'll get out of the cart and uh, we'll cast Cure Wound. Do I, I? I'm still driving the cart looking forward, so I don't know if I would know that he just jumped out. Well, can you stop the cart? I'll help these people. <laughs> Ugh, fine. <laughs> so I pull the cart to a halt. And just make it quick. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, you, you don't see anyone else nearby. You assume that they were probably attacked at least a few minutes ago. Okay. Well, uh, the only group healing spell I have is Prayer of Healing, so I cast Prayer of Healing. Uh, you healed their wounds, and they thank you a lot and say that they were, as they were going home after nights drinking a couple of bandits, one was a Tieflinger and the other was a uh, Dragonborn. Mm. They jumped them and stole everything they had on them. Well, nothing we can do to regain your lost goods, but at least you're alive. Yeah, thank you for that. All right, all right. We'll just keep going on our way. Okay. Obviously, they don't have any money to reward us. Yeah. So. All right, I go, what time? So I do it anyway. Shoot the cart forward. Okay, uh, you make it to the gates. Cool. And the guard says, Hawk, why are you leaving this time of night? We have to make haste. We have to get back to, uh, what's the place called again? Hold on, I'm a little... Uh, uh, Ranches. Ranches, I'm sorry, I drank a bit, but we have to get back there to meet the king. We just want to get a and early start. I took a Carl as in the card with you, and oh, okay. because the guard does recognize like, the Carl, he does let you through, but... Cool. Smart. The guard will say, I thought you were staying tonight. <laughs> well, we were going to, but we think the early the better. Better not wait too long. Fair enough. Uh, and you have left the city, the city from the southern gates, the same ones you came in through. Awesome. Where are, like, Tarth and his family and the Lord Bane? The Lord Bane? You assumed they would be at the east. East, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah well, wait till I'm at a ear shot. Well, we would have, uh, tried to make our way around. To yeah, meet towards up. this. So, we'll obviously meet up. Because so this happened the east side of the city, parallel to each other, right? Yeah, like we had yeah, it's, it's time, yeah, so. yeah. Right, so we should probably we did not make a meeting spot. Shit, <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> Pretty yeah. obvious we're gonna meet at the gate, but I feel like you shouldn't just I feel, be, yeah come out on the side of the castle and meet weird. at the gate. Are we still going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 sorry, I wasn't sure if we could have done it. Just been one of them. Uh, well, we exited. Uh, we made it to shore, probably gonna head up around the edge, not like right at the edge, yeah. cut our way around, head towards the main path, leading back to where Avranche is docked. Sweet. Yeah, so you're able to, uh, sneak through the shadows and, uh, make your way, uh, towards the southern gates, but you just have to go up, like, a hill to get there, because Silsby is on top of a big hill, with the overhanging cliff. So no worries, I'm carrying the kids, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you made it, uh, outside of the city, city, and, uh, Tarth and his family are crying now and are so happy that you've got them out and says, thank you, thank you so much. Well, hey, no you, worries. You, you saved our lives. Uh, but I, I know this doesn't repay oh, saving a no. life, but, uh, he'll give you uh, 50 gold pieces, and his wife will also give you a, uh, Kiss on the uh, monocle, and she says, this has some magical properties. I... Can I rule an arcana check? Yeah. I don't accept the gold. Um, I say, uh, that no, there's no need, um, just doing a good deed. I accept the gold. <laughs> and, um... Uh, I say, was, our journey's You're not over just one. yet. Yeah. Um, we may made it out of town, but... Where there might be some people trailing us, so... All we needed was to get out of town. We can manage from here on. Uh, I accept the gold because I say, uh, uh, our other friends did do their part. They'll probably want their pay. They're not as, uh, giving as Aelando is over here. <laughs> also, you, uh, did bring some books, right? Yes, yes, yes. And he says, may I... Uh, like, to get the stuff from the bag of Yeah, I take out their things. Also, yeah. I'm going to do my arcana check. Yeah. I rolled a 16. Uh, you realize this is a monocle of Lewinsky. So it'll give you plus two per two persuasion to important figures. Cool. Okay, cool. I'll slip it in the bag of holding for later. Okay. And uh, he'll also say, 
these are all the books I was able to get out just because we were in such a hurry and blazed out five different books. One of them is Nine Ways to Make Creeps. <laughs> Damn. Uh, the other is... Such a rare dish. Uh, the other <laughs> is <laughs> just like a homemaking <laughs> book. Another is a carpentry book. And then the other one, another is a uh, just a novel. And then the last one is uh, a book about the dwarven history of Still Speed. Okay, um, I kind of want to take, a, the, obviously, the Dwarven History, but I also, I'm going to ask him for the Carpentry book as well. Just, sure, sure, here you go. Alright, cool. You, know, uh, you don't want the clay book? Uh, I'm actually more of a waffle kind of guy, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I, uh, I'm always eager to learn new things, and Carpentry could be a useful, useful proficiency later on, you yeah. know? And that is where we will leave the episode. Uh, join us next time on Nat 20.